Hello my beautiful beautiful people, Uncle Butcher in the building and today I will share with you all easily one of the best post update veteran nightmare difficulty setups for LMG class. So with no further ado, let's get into it and my first card is quick kill. Since we will not use aiming down sights here, accuracy is must have and this card will make our LMG godly strong. Basically a cheat code in a trade off we will receive huge amount of weak point damage as well and speaking about it. My second card is Killer's Instinct and this card will provide us with 30% extra weak point damage. Guys, don't worry about that incoming damage. We will have some dope cards which will take this negative debuff from us. But my third card in my deck is Hunker Down. Like I said, you saw we have that incoming damage debuff but when we will crouch this card will give us 10% resistance and freaking 40% accuracy so already we have 90% accuracy with our LMGs but to make all the things even better my fourth card is my coupler that will increase our reload speed and I strongly recommend you to apply on your LMG increased magazine size which will give you as well or attachment which will give you increased magazine size and of course reload speed but my fifth card is hyper focused by far the best card for weak point damage reasons and since we will not use aiming down sights we don't need to think about that slow movement my next card is mad dash that's the sixth one for mobility reasons when shit will hit the fan and at some point <laughs> trust me it will happen especially on nightmare difficulty you have to reposition yourself and that card is really really handy you can quickly change your position and that can be clutch motorcycle helmet is my next card like i said for resistance reasons again we will not use aiming down sights so we are not losing anything with this card we are gaining extra resistance really 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 dope card but the guys please don't stack only weak point damage you have to multiply your damage for that reason alone, Silver Bullet should be on every DPS deck. It will give us in total more damage, for example, if I would use here extra weak point damage. You can do your tests, trust me, it is what it is right now. You have to use multiple cards with different damage buffs. Next one, again, for LMG class must have card, we will receive extra accuracy and by this point we have over 100% accuracy, I think 120% accuracy with our LMG with, without any mods on our weapons, tactical vest is must have, it will give us extra capacity, ammo capacity and with LMG class we need ammo, like there is no tomorrow, just remember that assault rifles will use the same ammo which are LMG class using so I would recommend you to use uh, SMG and uh, LMG as your primary weapon but for my next card I'm using every card which could boost my grenades and of course grenade cap capacity improvised explosives are really strong card I think it's the best card for explosive damage Shredder again is really nice card when you're gonna fight zombies with mutations they are kind tanky especially after that update so you're gonna stack your damage output pretty quickly and screwdriver in general is really nice card because you receive increased use speed and stamina and since we are sprinting with mad dash card we need extra stamina but guys don't forget that use speed will affect how quickly you can open doors open caches crates open or not open excuse me or even picking pick up your teammates from the floor so use speed is really important on hardest difficulties especially at later stages so this is my full deck of course you could switch some cards here and there to fit your playstyle more nothing is set in stone this is my deck which works for me, basically I will crouch all over the place and I will deal ridiculous damage to weak points and in trade-off I have resistance, I have a huge amount of accuracy, I have 
increased amount of grenades which I can carry with myself and on Nightmare difficulty grenades again are really important if you have to fight for example 5 tall boys in a row you can one tap them with grenades and if you're gonna kill them by or excuse me if you're gonna make those weak point shots with your grenades you can easily one tap them so in my eyes this build is kind of overall really really decent and like I said it depends on your preference but to me this is nightmare setup thank you for watching and see you in the next one